What's up guys, we're back with another epic mail video. This one is pretty awesome. I'm gonna be showing you guys some cards that you might not even know existed, but before that, the giveaway. And speaking of cards you don't know existed, the super rare that nobody knows is in Invasion of Chaos, Big Burn, Reinforcement of the Army, and Dark Balter, nice goat cards. To enter the giveaway, all you gotta do, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about this stuff that we got in the mail. Some really cool stuff. So let's start off with one of the bigger items. A Cyberdark Impact Hobby Box. First edition. It is a 103953. Yeah, not the best condition. Definitely, definitely good for opening. So, you guys will probably see this opened at some point in the future. It's gonna be pretty awesome. You can pull the Cyberdark Dragon out of the hobby box. We did that before, and it was crazy. So that was a pretty cool pickup. Also, speaking of hobby boxes, we'll be opening this on Saturday. I've been reminding you guys every day because it's gonna be a really awesome opening. Saturday, I'm opening this up. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So make sure you guys. Check that out, Hobby Box, potential Ancient Gear Golem could be crazy. So along with the Cyberdark Dragon box, or the Cyberdark Impact box, I bought a few singles. So he actually didn't tell me what they were. He was like, I'm gonna send, uh, I got a Cyberdark Impact box and a few singles, I want you to buy them or whatever. So I was like, okay. So uh, he sent me these singles and it turns out they were pretty awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna do them one at a time because I kinda wanna check out the condition, I haven't done it yet. And I did buy them, but <laughs> I bought them, and uh, let's see what exactly the condition is. I didn't inspect them, but they look to be pretty decent. We got a Stardust Dra Oh, wow. Okay, there's a, yeah, there's a little thing right there. I was like, wow, that's about to be really nice. Still really nice, though. Stardust Dragon Ultimate Rare, so that's really cool. I thought I saw it at first, and I thought it was an Ultra, and I was like, wait a second. That's an ulti. That's super awesome. So the, um, I looked up the price, and the unlimited ultis were a little bit less than I expected. I guess because the first editions are just that much higher because they're so far hard to find. Then we got a Dark Horus Ultimate Rare, so this was cool. This one I don't think we really need to inspect too much because it's not a very expensive card. It is a cool-looking card, though, so we'll set that down here. Next is a card that I've never owned. This is actually really cool, so I'm going to pull this out first. Hopefully it's decent because I, I plan on keeping this one if it is not, like, horrible. I'll still probably keep it anyway because I don't have one right now. And, oh, wow, okay, okay. We have an honest ghost rare, so it's not first edition, but uh, that that that's pretty clean foil right there. That's a pretty nice honest. Okay, it does have that mini ding. Oh, that's like it, and then a couple little spots. That's still really nice. That's gonna go really well in my ghost rare binder. Check that card out. Wow, that looks good. Look at that. It's like you can't see anything. Then boom, those colors hit you. That's a beautiful card. I've never owned an honest ghost rare first edition or unlimited, so that's really cool. Wing Kariba Ultimate Rare. I used to own two of these in PSA 10. I sold both of them. Yeah, it's kind of sad, but I think I bought something pretty cool with it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I bought something pretty big when I sold that. The Wing Kariba, wow. Pretty good. Is, is there anything? Okay, there's a top Nick. I was like, is there anything wrong with this? Okay, there's a top Nick. Maybe that, yeah, that little bit of, you know, a little bit of whitening there. Pretty awesome looking card though. That is an awesome looking card. Wing Kariba Ultimate Rare. That's pretty great. Next we got a, uh, oh, is that sealed? Nice, sealed Dark Paladin. Really cool. The thing I hate about these sealed is it gets all like dirty looking because it's, you know, it's just got the plastic wrap on it. Just all the dirt has accumulated. It makes me want to open it, but I know when you open these, a lot of times it has that imprint on the card from this little line, so it's really not worth it. Maybe we'll open it. Who knows? Probably not in this video, though. All right, we got a uh, we got another cool card. We got a Clear Vice Dragon. That is a secret rare. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's pretty good condition for Stardust Overdrive because they usually have like some weird stuff. Yeah, I mean this got some weird print quality issues, but this one looks pretty good. Like definitely a near mint card. That's cool. Secret rare Clear Vice Dragon. I don't think I've ever owned that. I don't think I've ever owned that card. The rest of these are 10 promos, so we're not going to, you know, pull them out or anything. Haman, Lord of Strike and Thunder. That's cool. Here comes one of my favorite 10 promos of all time. The Cyber Dragon. So that is cool. I've mentioned a lot of times that I had two of those 10s, or at least had two of the promos. So I'm guessing I bought two of the 10s back in the day. Memory is really, really bad. So Grand Neos, and we have two more. We've got the Sapphire Pegasus, Secret Rare. That's really cool. And finally, the last card that I bought with all that stuff was a Rainbow Dragon. So that was really cool to pick up all those. I mean, these are not as valuable, but they're still pretty nice cards. I really do like that Cyber Dragon. Super cool. And overall, just really nice cards to get along with that booster box. So I was pretty happy. I thought you guys would be interested to see that stuff, especially like the Honest and the Ultimate Rare Wing Karibo, stuff like that. Next, we got something that you guys saw me pull yesterday. 
Not to mention that I picked it up. I finally bought a Dakoichi Ultimate Rare. Yes. I bought this from Buddy Vins on Instagram. You guys can go and check him out. We, he has been one of my Instagram friends for a while. Probably like at least two years. So it's been a long time. And I bought a few things from him. He's bought a few things from me. He had a Dakoichi up for sale. Nobody was buying it. I was like, okay. Let's check this thing out. Not too bad. Got a little bit of scuffs on the back. But uh, pretty decent, you know. RDS, not the best uh, in terms of print quality. Definitely good for a GOAT deck, though. So I'm, I'm happy to pick that up. So appreciate that, Vins. Finally, we have one more thing to show you guys in this mail. This is kind of what the title is going to be revolved around, I think. This is a Blue Eyes White Dragon you might have never even heard of. Here we have a, a nearly a complete set, maybe a complete set or more, of Duelist League 2009 or number 9. I don't know if it's from 2009. I don't even know. I don't even know, to be honest. But we have... The Blue Eyes White Dragon with different color names. So check this out. These are the Duelist League 09 Blue Eyes. Check this card out. So it is just regular old common other than the name, which has the gold lettering. Uh, you don't see, you can't really see this anywhere. It's, it's a common or it's a rare, but it has gold lettering. So it's that special Duelist League kind of thing where they have the different coloring. Pretty cool card. DL09. I mean, you should never see this card. You probably have never even heard of this card at this point. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, no, I've heard of this. Come on, dude. I'm, I'm a pro collector. Yeah, but some of you guys I know have not heard of this because I hadn't heard of it. But I, I was like, that's weird that um, Blue Eyes didn't get a Duelist League printing. Oh, wait, it did. And this one has the silver lettering. It's missing the D, part of the D. So, uh, yeah, it's not good for the Blue Eyes. missing part of the D. But uh, <laughs> another one, we got two of these. So we got the gold or the bronze, I think is what they call this one. And then the silver Blue Eyes. And then we got all these other ones from the sets. We got the Penguin Soldier. Look at all these different colors you could have. So they were missing the blue eyes. That is, is that blue? What is that? I don't even know. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master, Zaborg. I mean, there's a lot of really cool Krebons. So you can see when this came out, it was in the 5Ds era. Bor Blackwing Boris. So like, this is just like all the stuff they're playing in the progression series right now. Sakuretsu Armor probably has good value. I'm going to throw that to the front. Compulse, that's got to be pretty good. Threatening Roar. I mean, nice cards. Karibo. They're all just regular old cards except for the text, and there's a bunch of different versions of them. It's kind of like they did with Dragons of Legend, except this was a lot older. The Dragons of Legend is a lot newer. Soul Taker, we got Trap Holes. Sakuretsu, there's another one. Colossal Fighter, Blade Knight, that's probably good for the old uh, goat. It's pretty cool. Black Wings, Colossal Fighter, another Karibo. Swords of the Veiling Light, MSTs, that's pretty awesome. Scapegoats, those are probably worth a good amount too. Let's set those up there, Soul Takers. So yeah, that's like, I think that's the whole set. Um, she was missing, unfortunately, two of the blue eyes, which is a bummer. But that is pretty cool to pick that up. I mean, I had never even heard of this blue eyes at first. And I was like, wait a second, there's a Hobby League blue eyes. I didn't even realize that. And it's the, uh, or Duelist League, sorry. Hobby League is the one where they got the parallel. That would be really cool. I don't think there is one of those. Or is there? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, some really cool mail. I figured you guys would be interested to see that stuff. Just, I mean, when are you going to see... Duelist League Blue Eyes. I mean, they're not that expensive. I think they're like 50 to 80 bucks, depending on the condition. We picked up some crazy cards this video. We got the Dekoichi, finally. Honest. Stardust Dragon. I mean, who doesn't love that? And, of course, we got a booster box of Cyberdark Impact. And also, don't forget about that Hobby TLM box we're opening up on Saturday. So make sure you guys are there. And if you guys enjoyed the video, like it. That's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh, <laughs>